Alrighty y'all, welcome back to the Good Good Labs channel. We are out here today at Purcell Farms on the range here. Absolutely beautiful. And I think this video is gonna be the most important video I make on this channel because we're gonna be talking about matchups today. And if you don't have your matchups correct with your wrist angles, it's gonna set you up for a lot of manipulation through impact. It's gonna be really hard to time it up. So we are gonna cover all the different type of wrist angles today and what you should do if you wanna to get to a stronger impact position. Let's get right into this video. All right, guys, we're going to talk about the three wrist positions right now. So the first one is a cupped wrist. This is usually with somebody that starts with a stronger grip if they have a cupped wrist. They usually have a, a grip position like this because you already have a little bit of extension in the wrist here. So when you get up to the top, if you're correctly matched up with a strong grip, you're gonna wanna have a cupped wrist. For those of you out there, if you guys have that really strong grip or you have the knuckles up, thumb way over here, it is okay to have a cupped wrist. However, if your cupped wrist is matched up with a super open club face, that is where the issues occur. You don't wanna have that. So if you guys do have a strong grip out there, it's okay to have a little bit of extension in the wrist here. The next one we're gonna talk about is a flat wrist. Just like this, a straight line from your forearm to your wrist. That's a position that Tiger Woods played in his whole life. A lot of good players play with a flat wrist and usually they start with a grip that is pretty neutral. So this is about a neutral grip. This is your strong grip with extension. This would be your neutral grip right here. So your thumb's just off to the side. You can flatten that thing up and you're gonna match right here your club face up with your wrist. That's the key in today's lesson. You're matching up this club face with your wrist. The last thing we're gonna talk about, which a lot of the top golfers in the world have, are bowed wrists. So bowed wrists would be like this, your Dustin Johnson, your Colin Morikawa, your John Rahm, they all have super bowed wrists. And for those of you out there that are getting into golf, if you're gonna make the mistake, do not get a cupped wrist like this. Instead, go to more of a flat to a bowed wrist. Those are the wrists, in my opinion, that will set you up for a really strong impact position. So if you see, on video, you got a really cupped wrist here and you're, you're tending to hit weak iron shots, you're hitting slices, you're not making good contact. Try and really bow that wrist a little more, get it flatter or even bow it. I'm gonna show you right now a drill that you guys can do. So. I know a lot of you guys out there have credit cards. If you guys don't have a credit card or debit card yet, get your parents card. You can put it right in your glove just like this. This is a great way, a great little drill here that I used to use to really feel. So if I put this credit card in my wrist, if I try and cup my wrist, it's gonna hit. And that's what I don't like. I do not, I'm not a fan of cupped wrists at the top. You really don't see a lot of the great players on tour with cupped wrists. There are a few, I will say. There are always outliers to everything. There have been a lot of cupped wrist players that have been successful, but in today's modern game, you just don't see a lot of them. Put that credit card or whatever, debit card, whatever you have, put that in your glove, guys. And when you set up to the ball, if you even try and get too strong, it will start to hit. Make sure it's not hitting, you add a little bit of bow here. So at impact, you're more like this. This left wrist is turning down and it's flexed. So you have no tension with that credit card. So I'll hit a couple here. Really just trying to keep a flat wrist the entire time. And if you guys are doing it wrong, it will really hit. It will start to hit into your forearm here if you're trying to cup it. So it will really make sure that you're you're using that flexion in your wrist, you're leading with your knuckles down, and you're hitting that low penetrating ball flight. Nice low shot there. I just, I love coming out to the range and really practicing with this because it will never, it will never hurt your game if you really put this in there unless you're someone that starts with a super, super strong grip. I do want to make that very, very clear. If you guys are out there and you have a strong grip like this, it's okay to have a little bit of extension in the wrist. If you have played golf your whole life with a super strong grip and you play great golf, that's fine with me. But for those of you out there that are just getting into golf and are wondering how you can get rid of that slice, how you can get rid of those poor iron shots, really try and make sure that wrist is at least flat to a little bit bowed here. That's the one thing from today's video I really want you guys to take away is making sure if anything you're flat to bowed straight away from the cup side. What are some of the problems that are caused by having a cupped wrist? So basically that's a great question and that's what I really wanted to cover again. When you have a cupped wrist here guys, what happens almost all the time, they have an open club face coming down here and they're steep. So if you guys have a cupped wrist at the top and you try and shallow it, it's almost impossible. You will pull down on the shaft almost every single time. So. The only way you can really shallow a golf club is if you add a little bit of flexion to the wrist here and turn it down. That's what kicks the shaft out. So for those cupped wrist players out there, they tend to be super open here 
and when they come down they're steep and they have a lot of rotation so they're flipping it a lot i will say if you look at phil mickelson's swing he is someone that does it he's been very successful but you would never teach phil mickelson's swing to any player out there there's a lot of timing a lot of hands going on and he's a prime example if you want to roll that clip up on the screen when he comes down to the ball, you'll see he has a very cupped wrist and he's super steep. When he gets down to the ball, he's gonna rotate his face a ton because he has a cupped wrist here and he has to square it up. So it's just not a position that I like to see people in. It just sets them up for weak iron shots. Also guys, if you are looking at your swing on video, one thing I want you to make sure you're looking for is that if you have a flat wrist here, your club face is the same angle as your wrist. That's called a matchup. And that is the whole idea behind today's video is that if you're gonna have a flat wrist here, you're your club face is gonna be on the same angle as your wrist. So you guys, if you have your phone out there and you're taking slow motion videos, pause it at the top and make sure those are matched up right here. So if my wrist is flat here, my club face is matching it. And if my wrist is a little bit more bowed, it's more matching it there so then I can turn and rotate and hit those pure iron shots. You don't have to manipulate the face through impact if it matches up with your wrist. Just within Good Good, what type of wrist angles do you see with most of the guys? Mostly everybody in Good Good has a, a pretty flat to bowed wrist if anything, but Bubby plays a super strong grip, so he's gonna be a little bit more cupped at the top and so is Matt. Matt Scharf plays a little bit of a stronger grip, so he's a little bit cupped. Garrett's flat. Micah has a very flat wrist. Steve has a flat wrist. But no one's super, I would say nobody in Good Good is bowed like this. There's not really anybody, if anything, Matt and Bubby. Bubby's is fine because if you guys notice, Bubby will start with a grip like this. So he already has extension here. He can't bow it. If you have a grip, if you have a grip like Bubby's where it's super strong, you can't bow your wrist. You have to have a little bit of extension here in the wrist. So when you come down, it offsets that super strong grip. Matt Scharf, we've been working on really turning his wrist to make sure it's flat just this good good week, and it's been a huge change. We're actually gonna make a video with Matt working on his wrist position. It's been an awesome change for Matt, and he's hitting the ball super well. But hopefully you guys did enjoy today's last video. This is the most important tip I think I'm gonna give on the whole channel. Hopefully you guys did learn a little bit about what a powerful wrist position looks like at the top and what to avoid because I just wanna set you guys up for the best chance to hit good shots. Golf is so hard. If you're not having the right instruction, it's really hard to figure it out sometimes. So if you guys did enjoy that, hit that like button. Until next time, peace out.